Two of the most popular website builders right here for business and e-commerce, Wix and Squarespace. If you're looking to build a site for yourself, maybe you're a photographer, a wedding planner, an accountancy firm, pretty much anyone who needs a website to promote your business or yourself, these two are great options. I've used both of these to build websites in the past and I even have tutorials on them, which you can certainly go and look at on the channel. Which one of these is right for you? They actually have a lot of similar features, but they are different in terms of the prices and product offerings. So I'm just gonna go through how easy they are to use and who they are suited best for in this video. Let's get straight into the learning curve and setup then of both Wix and Squarespace. Both of these are what I would call a all-in-one package solution. That means they're really just set up to be used step by step by a complete beginner. With both of these, all you have to do is just go to the homepage of each, press sign up and you will start building a website. I will leave uh, links to both Squarespace and Wix in the description for you. You can literally click on that, go through to the sign up page and start building your website straight away. Or like I said, I'll link those tutorials in the description as well. When you sign up, both of them ask you what type of website do you actually want to build? What type of user are you? And then they will give you the options that they think fit you best. Both have options for every type of site. So if you're a newbie, if you are just looking to set up a portfolio because you're a photographer, if you just want to share some images online with friends and family, I would say both are good for this and they're both easy to use as well. So I would say really both of them are just like setting up an account with Facebook. You literally just go sign in and you will have hosting and also a unique domain name with both of these. They offer those services for you. When it comes to being easy to use though, which one is going to be easier over the mid and long term for you? There are some subcategories here. So the most important really for me is the editor, how you actually build and edit your site, and then we have some further important things like how you manage your site, how you manage things like newsletter signups, email campaigns, SEO, maybe integration with ad programs, Facebook pixel and more business type stuff. First, we'll come to the editor then. So if you are just looking to build a site, change things around and get things unique to you, which one is easier? Well, they both use a system of blocks or if you use Wix, they call them strips. This is a way that you split up the website into different areas. Then you can edit each area individually. You can take it away, you can move it around, you can add media to it like images and videos. Both systems use this in mostly the same way, but in my experience, Squarespace is more restricted. You have blocks and you can make new blocks and edit them, but they do come with some more restricted preset templates. You can choose the design and then you input that and then you can put your own flair on it so you can upload your own images and of course change the text and you can add some buttons as well. But you have to follow the layout quite closely to what you actually chose in the first place. Wix on the other hand is way more customizable and way more drag and drop. If you want to add a button, you just click add button. You can then drag that absolutely anywhere that you want. So it is more customizable like that. It also can be slightly harder to use and get things lined up. So depending on what type of user you are, you may actually like just a more rigid layout that you can edit and not make as many mistakes on. Wix is definitely more free in terms of the editor. If you are a complete beginner, this may not be great. You may like and enjoy the rigidity of Squarespace. It's going to be easier to use. As you grow though with your website and you start managing it more, it may be too restrictive and you may actually regret your decision not going for something that gives you more options when it comes to design. But overall, I would have to say Wix is a more feature rich editor with more customizations. That's not taking anything away from Squarespace though. Ease of use is sometimes a big positive. If you're a blogger, business, or just trying to sell products online, which one of these is most suitable though? Well, Squarespace does have some really good commerce options and they actually have options that integrate with bricks and mortar stores. So if you own a shop right now and you're looking to go online, you might want to just lean towards Squarespace. Squarespace has also been known as a really good option for bloggers. I actually think it started out as really being a website for bloggers and kind of photographers to share their portfolios online. So a lot of people, especially bloggers, do like Squarespace. It has a very simple layout and it's very easy to add blog posts and new pages to it. In my opinion, Squarespace is really marketed towards bloggers photographers, videographers, wedding planners, those sort of creative people that need a good looking site and to be honest, have other things to be doing rather than managing it. 
Wix for me does cater more towards the business crowd. So if you're a lawyer and you need a site to uh, guide people through your services, it seems like more of those type of people do choose Wix. Wix does have e-commerce options as well though, but in my opinion, it's not as user-friendly to add these. If you're looking for a blog, an e-commerce store or a portfolio, I would personally lean towards Squarespace. If you're looking for more customization, more options, drag and drop editors, ways to interact with potential customers on your site, for example, with a customer chat, you might wanna to lean towards Wix. When it comes to the monthly cost of these, unsurprisingly, they're very similar. They do run offers throughout the year though. So I'm gonna put them side by side here for you. That may change when you're looking at this. The easiest thing uh, that I can do is just link to them in the description. You can go through and see what they're costing at the time you're watching this video and if there are any discounts. To recap though, I would say business tools and customization, I would lean towards Wix for blogs or commerce and just ease of use overall. Good looking sites, I'd maybe choose Squarespace, but let me know which one you think is best for your application in the comments. Thank you for watching this one. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.